Okay, it's 6 o'clock, Thursday, September 15th. We call the meeting to order the Golf Commission. And at this point, uh, we would like to run the audience of citizens. If there's anyone here who would like to speak, you must be a resident. Uh, state your name, address, and you have the floor. Anyone for audience of citizens? Who's first? Hi, Don. Go ahead. Hey. Uh, Don Bovey, 85 Steeple Drive, Berlin. So. I'm here um, just to kind of listen and learn about the pro bidding contract that went out. Um, you know, there's a lot of chatter, and uh, I was as surprised as a lot of people were surprised. Um, you know, I know there's a bidding procedure that the town has, but you know, even from reading the pro's report this month, like it hasn't been actually used, I guess, since we hired Mike back in 2011. So I'm kind of interested as to why now, and what is the criteria? The one thing I did read the, the um, RFP, and I didn't see like the criteria that's gonna be used to determine the evaluation. who's negotiate, you know, who they're gonna negotiate with. It's based on what I understand, that they're gonna pare it down and then start negotiations. So all that takes time, obviously the contract's up in January. I don't know who's involved. I would hope, as a citizen and as a user of Timberlink, that there's a couple of representatives from your commission to work with whoever from the town or whoever they, they decide. Um, but I think that, that the criteria and who's going to be involved in it needs to be answered before you start opening bids on October 4th. Um, and I'll just put a plug in. I think Mark has done just a wonderful job. I think there's, there could have been maybe a better way to go about this. Um, if, 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 if the town can, you know, get through that bidding procedure, I know there's another process. Um, but I, you know, I, I just, I do think Mark has done a very good job consistently growing the business. And I also want to say, I thought the course area has been in great shape, and I thank you for that too. So, thanks. Thank you, Donna. Yes, sir. Name and address, please. Uh, David Doro, 84 Church Street, Kensington. Um, I have just heard through the grapevine of that, that, of course, Mark's contract is coming up. And when contracts come up, you usually renegotiate a contract in that. But I have, I have never heard anything in regards to pros where is going out to bid. I mean, we're not buying a sand truck. We're not buying paper for the town hall. We are not putting in sidewalks. We have a human being here that we are dealing with. So what I ended up doing, and Mark knows who he is, my nephew is the PGA pro at Campbell Sands out at Washington State. The number one rated public golf course in Washington, the uh, number 14th rated public golf course in the United States, and one of the top 100 golf courses in the United States. Um, he had nine years in the service. He went to UNLV. He ended up getting his uh, license for hospitality and that, and he went through their PGA school. He interned at the TPC over in Cromwell, interned at the T TPC in Las Vegas, Nevada. When he graduated, he ended up getting a job at an exclusive club in Dallas, Texas. He went back to Vegas, and then he went to Gamble Sands, where he has been the head pro. And I ended up asking him today, I said, what was the process every time you were applying for a job? And I guess there are websites out there that show positions that are available. You send in your resume. They look at the resumes. If you're going to work for a very high prestigious club, they're probably going to apply you to that club, and they're going to talk to you with their board of directors or mm -hmm. whatever the case might be. And a lot of times nowadays you're going to do it virtually. So when I explained it to him about going out to bid, his reaction was, what? What the hell is that? 
And I go, I guess that's town government. So I just wanted to find out, it doesn't seem like we're doing something that has been done in the past or is done at a lot of other clubs. So. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Yep. Yeah, I just want to say- Name and Richard, address, please. Uh, uh, William Richards, 811 Richards Thank Road. you, William. Just wanted to say the tremendous amount of people that I've, people I've spoken to are very upset that this is going out of fair. And I found out after the fact that it is in the town you know, bylaws and rules and regulations, but um, and it has been somewhat overlooked in the past. Uh, I just want to throw in my support for Mark. He's been in a lot of help for many people and generated a tremendous amount of income for some of them. Yep. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? I don't think there's anyone else here. Uh, anyone on Zoom that wants to speak? Audience of citizens? What's that? Yeah. Hearing none, I'm going to close it. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, before you close, let's. You know, Donnie, you raised a couple points. One is, you know, because I've written many a RFP. You know, the criteria, yeah, should have been listed, not the not the weighted average of this thing. So, to my knowledge, that none of us have uh, been consulted with the RFP, which is kind of odd, considering that's part of the commission. You would you would think commissioners would have been consulted in some way. So, to my knowledge, none of us have been consulted in any aspect of that thing. Right, so that's that's one. But the second one, <clears throat> I'm sorry, is uh, the criteria. Yes, and and considering commission, we, I, I fully agree. And David, you're, you're you're spot on with that. As far as a, it's a, a personal service contract. If you really think about what, what's going on here, right? Um, it's kind of different in that respect. And there's another year. Is there another year left on, on Mark's contract? It's up this year, Mark. Well, he has the option. There's so there's, the one, yeah. there's another year left on this contract right now, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So th to me, that's, it's perplexing also what's going on. So I don't know. If you have another year left on the contract, why not just step back and do it the right way rather than rush something through? And in the contract, there's other things that are still in the contract too that are kind of like the range, right? The, the town wants the range now? Is that is that what's going on? Yes. Okay. So. The, you don't have enough staff to do what has to be done now. But it's I mean, not going to be the maintenance staff. Okay, well, the town's not putting the money in the, in the course that they are now to do the range. Who's going to pick it? Who's going to sell the balls? Who's going to, I mean, there's... That, that should be, this should be not be discussed in our range of citizens, well, though, I mean, I, I, we, we, could, we could we could bring it up. I, I get it, but you're... That come up, but, but now, you know, we're going a little off know, topic, know which... How come I don't we don't know about who's the, the range? How, who's involved in the contract? Why are things being done under the table? Who is the, who's involved in the contract? Who's responsible here? Barone should do it for the RFP. And who, who reviewed it? I saw the RFP and okay. the night before it went out. One question. All right. But like you said, let's hear this all out right now, okay? Because like it's, it's been going on and on and on. Citizens. Okay. Yeah, we can't do this. I'm going to okay. end audience of citizens. Can I end it's audience of citizens? It's on the agenda. So why don't we just go through citizens. this? It's okay. It's so yeah. hang tight. Sit, sit, you know, sit down okay. and we'll go through it. No problem. All right. Uh, approval of the minutes from last last month. I am abstaining because I wasn't here. So. I make a motion to accept the minutes. Okay. Second. Second. Any discussion? Omissions? Additions? <laughs> Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Except me. I'm abstaining. Okay. Old business. Review the statement of need. Everyone got that in the packet, right? Mm -hmm. Jim, this is your... Yeah, the only, the only comment that I got back was from Mr. Uh, Caccini saying that, and I can understand where he's coming from as far as taking the financing piece out of this thing, and it really does not belong in the statement of need. That was uh, recommended by the town manager. So I had a little blurb on the bottom, on the, the true statement of need for uh, the golf course. Usually that describes your vision for the future to a point, right, and um, where we see it going and, and what we're looking for, not how we're going to get there. That has nothing to do with the statement of need. So... In front of you is the revised statement of need to be presented to the town council again and the town manager. Yeah, 
I, I reread it, and, um, and when we get to the section on the, the, um, the presentation, we might want to talk about how we, or if we incorporate this into the presentation as a, you know, that's one thing I'm thinking. I don't have, a, I don't have a set idea about that now, but. Well, they've been asking for that. You know, the, the town council keeps yeah. saying that we were looking for the statement and we were looking for the yeah. statement and we right. the town manager, even though they've, they've had drafts. And, yeah. Okay, so here's another revised copy, you know, September 22, right? Yeah. Right, right, yeah. No, I, because what we're really asking for is the establishment of a committee, some funding to establish a committee with some expertise to. Where do we want to go? We all have ideas of where, what right, we're thinking, right, right. but you know what? You want somebody to validate some of those ideas also. I think that's well, what we're trying to do. we kind of talked about it when we um, met with or we reviewed information from the National Golf Foundation. Remember that about, what was it, about two years ago? Mm -hmm. The National mm -hmm. Golf Foundation would be a company who would potentially do this or could do this if the town was agreeable to do it. They'd have to go out the bid, though. With, that's that's fine. Yeah, and, maybe yeah, yeah. The, and maybe the National <laughs> Golf Foundation would bid on it. Okay. Anything else on that? Okay. Uh, Gail, presentation. So I, I guess Peter emailed you. Um, hopefully, I don't know. Uh, you all got it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Please share. I'm going to pass this around um, if you wouldn't mind. Um, what I would like, I have we've, been I have talking, we've been talking Can about you have um, mm -hmm. doing a presentation to the town council uh, so that they are informed about you know what's going on up at the golf course you know some of our successes some of our challenges uh, there's a couple more copies here uh, uh, so what i would like so we talked about that and i volunteered to put a kind of a draft together most of you emailed me ideas and things so this is a first draft uh, what i would like to do and it needs some work uh, what I would like to do is, I would just like to run through the whole thing first. Um, there's a chair. Know. Is there another chair? Right oh, here. There's no. a chair right there. From the table. Yep. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Let me pull it out here. I'm not as smoke as I know, you're on the commission. So what I'd like to do is run through it um, once, just to kind of, for my own, you know, flow and, uh, and then go back and, and we could do it uh, slide by slide. Um, so um, as you all recall, the Public Golf Course Commission was formed in September 27, uh, 2017 with these three uh, goals in mind and these are right from the um, or ordinance that was created us is to make and ensure enforcement policies approved by the uh, town council provide input and recommendation in the negotiations of all proposed contracts, work with the director of golf to develop and uh, prior prioritize um, alteration plans, renovations, and capital improvements. And remind me, before we leave tonight, I'd like to take a picture of, of the council overall working on a proposed one and add it there. Um, the council or the commission? The commission. Oh, I disagree with that one. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Yes, I, I, I wrote no. Well, that, you know, can I second that? <laughs> yeah, okay. So some of our accomplishments. We've installed um, uh, T signs, new T signs that were more accurately described the holes, and those were all paid for by sponsors. Uh, we updated, and, the, and we now have a functional uh, lighting detection uh, system. We now utilize Golf Now, which has a lot of um, pluses for the uh, golf course. Uh, installation of the new bridge on the 17th hole. And some of these I'm going to get into a little more detail, but I just wanted to kind of highlight them all. The larger ones I'll, I'll get into a little more detail further on in the presentation. Um, we've had a significant expansion of golf participation at every level, uh, reaching all segments of our population. And we've had a great opportunity here uh, to support our high school uh, boys and girls team. And we have a golf pro with statewide recognition. And we have achieved quite a bit of profitability in the last few years. So you want to um, go, go, go through the whole thing first, <laughs> yeah. right? Okay. 
Uh, so the, in, in terms of one area to really highlight is our expansion of, of the golf uh, uh, participation. And uh, as Mark says, we have programs and organizations for, for everyone. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the top junior programs in the state serving over 300 juniors this past year. We have a very active men's, women's, senior uh, club, lady niners. All of that combined is close to 600 members. Um, we have quite a few leagues, and we're host to, and I'm sure there's some other people <coughs> have there, God bless you, host to the uh, CSGA, Southern New England Women's Golf, and um, other charitable events. And the new thing about golf tournaments is they're for charitable organizations, and they raise a lot of money for um, uh, organizations in our community. So here you can see our, our rounds, really, obviously, COVID, uh, COVID was unfortunate for a lot of things, but it's, it's helped uh, the golf industry. And right. We've been, pretty much been able to uh, maintain a pretty high level of rounds, so we have a tremendous amount of rounds played, of course. Um, need some work on this with the staff. Um, so our uh, high school boys and girls teams are just renowned. Um, and um, starting with, um, you know, Don Bates, his career as coach for 39 years, brought many, many um, championships uh, to Berlin uh, High School team. And then there's a quote here, uh, thank you, Sebi, from, uh, that was on the New Britain Herald uh, about the team. And this is where we need a little work with more pictures and, and some stats around the accomplishments over the years. It just highlights how many championships they've won and all that, and I haven't been able to do that research. Um, our golf professional. So I actually have that data for you. Oh, good, good. Send it to you. Okay. Um, so our head professional, Mark Bayram, uh, has quite a few uh, acknowledgments here. He's uh, 2020 Teacher of the Year, 2021 U.S. Kids Top 50 Coach, 2015 Youth Player Development Award, and the two, uh, 2012 Merchandiser of the Year. From Is that right, or was it 21? Is it 12 or 21? Well, 2012. Okay. It says payer, not player. Or yeah. well, there's, yeah. there's, 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 I think there's, there's other there's typos. typos. There's a lot of typos. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. She's just going to go through it first. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Okay, then we, those are the, some of the participants in the very popular Women in Wine um, program that the, uh, has been put together the last few years. Very popular program there. Now we have the uh, profitability for the course for the last five years, and um, and only there was only one year uh, where the course did not uh, at least uh, make some funds, and this is very challenging in the sense that you know golf is very weather dependent, and mm -hmm. there's that is out of our control uh, in terms of how much the course can be opened if we have you know a lot a rainy season or storms or such uh, such kinds of things. So. I think kudos to all the people who have worked hard to uh, put the uh, golf course in the black here. And uh, especially the last few years, as you can see, with the profit of 165, 118, um, and hope that we can put that money back into the golf course because it's a valuable asset for the town. Um, when you think about all the people that come here play golf, and they're also spending money at, money at other businesses in the town. They're buying gas, they might stop and get groceries, they might stop at a, a restaurant, um, and even the tournaments that come into town. Um, those people are, are bringing revenue to the town in other ways that we can't capture. We don't know what those numbers are. Um, in terms of our short-term goals, these are a few of them, uh, to improve the cart path, we will need some restructuring on our bunkers, and Jerry has some great ideas about how to uh, how to do that in a phased uh, plan. So we can't do them all at once. That's not financially prohibitive, but in a, a, a phased plan. Relocating the cart corral. Uh, it's somewhat of an eyesore where it is now, in that people are walking through there, and there's also some safety concerns with carts and people um, ingested in one area. We really would like to see more permanent structure to the tent, and we also envision this as a phased project. We could start with something, um, you know, as a structure with a permanent roof, and then maybe over the years add on to it, so eventually we get to, you know, a better uh, second building on the property. Um, 
we'd like to see some improvements on the range, um, replace some carpet in the interiors of the clubhouse, and install um, a clock commemorating the 50th anniversary. Um, as for the 50th anniversary, and actually I think this, well, we'll be talking, but uh, I break this up a little. Uh, I want to really recognize the uh, donations for all the sponsors. We raised over $13,000 for the um, 50th anniversary, uh, which was supposed to happen, and then COVID hit, so we were not able to put on the uh, family um, festive uh, day that we had planned up at Timberland Park. And it's unfortunate, but uh, too much time has gone by. It just doesn't seem fitting uh, at this point to do that. So. Many groups have been talking about a clock. This is done at many golf courses. This happens to be a picture of the clock at Stanley. There's clocks at a lot of different golf courses. And uh, we would very much like to put up a clock similar to this um, on the first tee at Timberland. And um, we have raised quite a bit of money, but we still need um, some funding for that. So that's estimated as a request for funding for $11,550. Um, so those were some of our short-term goals. Long-term goals, uh, as I've always met, mentioned, to replace the tent eventually with a full structure, uh, improve our dining facilities, improve our cart paths, um, which is an ongoing. And, um, this is where I have it. You know, state and state. How do we want to incorporate that into the day? So that's it. Really good job, Gail. Good job. Well, everybody contributed. So um, let's go through, um, starting at the beginning, um, with the, I just think it's a good idea to remind people why the commission was um, formed some town council members. We're not town council members in 2017, so any thoughts on that slide? No, no, that, that's... You know, just the picture thing. I, I, I disagree with the picture. I think all you need, to, if you really want to do something, just put people's names and, and call it a day and, and just. Well, I, 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 what do other people think? That's just my view. That's yeah, I know. What do other people think about a picture of the council? I like the names. Yeah, I like this, just the names. The names yeah. are yeah. 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 That's a lot, that's going to have a lot of content, yeah. a lot of text. I like the picture personally. <laughs> just because it'll at least describe like it's simple, the simplified. It's not. I can go with it. Yeah. I'm quite um, Well, you know what? I'll do it both ways. And you, I, I'm concerned it's going to be too busy. Just like the slide, when you put too much content too many, on yeah, the too slide, many, too many bullets. Yeah. It's. I mean, we're going to have you know eight names. I'll do both. What am I do? A picture. What? If you can do a picture, you yep. have to put the names. No, I was going to do a, a candid, like a, like I'm going to go out there and just shoot you all talking in here, like a working meeting. Oh. Okay. Not all standing in a line. No. I, okay. That was my thought. More but wouldn't you want to have the original <laughs> um, members? Well, we're not going to get the original members. Yeah. Right. Wait, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. No, I track know. down people. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it would be. So I'll do both. Do both and. Okay. I will do both. Yeah. Accomplishments. Um, my question on that, and I'll just, I'll just which, listen. We're free for all here, so it doesn't okay. matter. Who's accomplishment? I mean, that's that's how I looked at this. This is a. A, a commission report, right? Correct. This is a commission report. Correct. But who's, I mean, you look at this, the accomplishments, uh, accomplishments is, my first com comment on that, well, who's, I mean, because the last one, two, one, two, three, four, you know, three of them are, are I, I look, I attribute to Mark, right? The profitability would, would be the Towns and, J and Jerry's, right? And yeah, that, that's I, how I look at this thing, but, yeah. but you know, this yeah, the, I would, I would, I would, I would take out for, I would take out the lightning detection system, because it's really something that had to be done for safety issues. And it was there. It was, it was there prior to, and we yeah. just repaired it or replaced it because it had to be. Well, what if you just take out the word accomplishments and just put, you know, and use something else like you since, go. you know, or, or uh, you, you know, or, or use a different adjective. A yeah. different adjective. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. major initiatives and it, uh, lightning. Go, go to the yeah. And like Jim says, you know, the installation of the T signs that was golf commission. 
Wasn't that driven by the golf commission? Well, uh, that's, this is, uh, this, yeah. uh, this is and, kind and of an all-encompassing accomplishment. Yeah, okay. It's like, okay. you accomplish some stuff, yeah. you accomplish yeah. some stuff, we accomplish some stuff. Okay. okay. Oh, I understand. Well, what, the, I, get, I see what you're saying. I see what you're yeah. saying, but I look at this, uh, you know, my, my, the first thing, come, all right, so here's the, here's the report from the golf commission. Correct. Right, I mean, and that's, has, some of those things have nothing to do with us. That, that's all I'm saying. Is, and, and, well, right, so but just we, get we, the we supported. We supported. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Use it the Thoris to find a different word for accomplishment. Mm -hmm. Okay, major initiatives for people like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Show of hands. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, major initiatives. Uh, and I'm taking out lighting detection systems. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything to add? And again, you know, if you think you know, you can email me. Don't email everybody because we. How about the uh, you can, you can resurfacing email. of the. Uh, the monuments that are up there at the Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we very good. Yeah. I wish we spaced that out. We did that. Yep. Yeah. Sign for We did that. Sign for yeah. yeah. Installation of new T sign paper by sponsored resurfacing former T sign. Okay. Um, now, I mentioned this to you. We don't think that um, including that we. Um, now have the um, advertising consultant. Oh, um, I could add that. Um, yeah, we were marketing before, though. Did, did you have? We, that was uh, we do have. I would. I would put uh, social media. Much social improved social media yeah. presence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. about the expansion um, really you know, one, one, one more comment you have the yeah. you know it's good that you put the the, the boys and girls and I'm not again it's listed down here below on the next page but maybe expansion uh, as far as uh, I mean if you go up there at nighttime it's, it's like there's a thousand kids up there the little kids yeah, yeah. so something to that effect. I don't I don't what's that well, your, your think, junior golf program or whatever right and actually I think that's yeah. uh, I think program. we could talk about that I, I'll I think um, I would put after hour programs or, you know, really uh, okay. something. I think, mm -hmm. Again, I think it's in the press. You don't have to write it, but you have to speak, speak it. Speak it, right. And that, and you made picture, a good point. Right? Mark, yeah. Yeah. Mark, do you have pictures of yeah, all right those? There. I mean, it's yeah. like, yeah. like locusts. Yeah. You know, that's, that's not like, you know, but, but, but well, you know, this time they come up here with the places just to yeah. 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 Well, I, just, but I think you're right. That's the verbiage we have to say. So w this is presenting. So it, it was my presentation that was poor. So I think no. But, but no, <laughs> no what I'm saying is you're making a very valid point. Is that um, the junior program is this? You it's know, just taken off, and it's just like it's it's huge. Yeah. So I think that's what we just have to emphasize. I've said it here yes. in writing, but the verbalization that it's a huge program. And the, the course is packed most evenings. Again, I don't think you have to write that. I think you have to project that, okay. mm -hmm. which I didn't do. So, it's a very busy and place. And you know the other part? You, you know, the, um, and, and it may get busy, but it, I don't know how you want to do this, but maybe take a picture of the, the high school gym with the, uh, the I banners. Had, I meant to do that. I just right. didn't have the time. So I'll, I'll send you the pictures. I got, you got of the banners. Yeah, that, that, yeah. It's, it's like the, the conference championships. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> that's the state, that's champ, the state championships page. too, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. all that go stuff. Go back. Yeah. Go back to what you. I, I'm just on the subject. I tried to get this information. How many state champions and championships we won for our boys and girls? I couldn't find it anywhere online. Yeah, I couldn't find it either. That's but you why. Have, yeah, but you, you want the hallway, the, all the plaques. No, no. Right. right, and that's what Joe oh, okay. has. And so he has that information. When right. I put this together, I didn't have that information. I didn't have time to go to the high school. Well, right. oh, this is at Timberland so, in the hallway downstairs. Yes, that downstairs. Those right. Are all state champions. Correct, correct. So, are, so we're moving on to the next slide now. Hello, one at a time. All right, so we're moving on to the next one. Opportunities to support high school boys and golf team. Um, so Joe has some stats for me. I need pictures of the girls team, and, and I thought about even taking a picture of that wall. I just didn't get to it, so that's why there's more that needs oh, yeah. to go on that slide. Yeah. 
They go back. Yeah. They go back. No, there's more than that. So we're on the slide with the high okay. The profit, which one we don't know. Okay. All right, the, the Boys and girls high school team that needs work. Joe's going to give me something. Okay. Mark Bayram, our head pro. I've got a typo there with players. But yeah. Um, hey. Anything else, Mark, on that page or anybody else? Okay. Um, I, I would, I would, I would bring up. Um, I would put something about uh, the leagues that he's brought. He, he's brought. He's he's expanded our leagues considerably. And I would, I would also put in um, like the, the programs, some of the programs like the women in wine. I would emphasize some of those okay. somewhere. Or you speak to that. Or you speak to it, but well, make um, a bullet point of, uh, yeah. you expanding know, ex yeah. expanding leagues, uh, uh, okay. evening, evening uh, programs and okay. things of that nature. Yeah. The Knicks league. Yeah, the Knicks. Oh, yeah. I'll <laughs> add that. Um, Use Knicks. some of those as examples. Yeah, examples. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Knicks. Women and Wine, all of that. Well, and I, I said the picture of that is the Women and Wine program. And veterans League. Oh, veterans? We have a Veterans League? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll add that. All right. Um, profitability. Bunkers. Buckers. What? Page Buckers and Bunkers. We're watching a UConn game. Oh. 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 Um. Typo. Bunkers. Okay. Bunkers. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Well, tell. Let me know because I. Bunkers. Is that what? Yeah. Yeah. The um, <coughs> profitability. You know. I mean, it's busy. It's a busy sheet, right? So sometimes maybe just you know 50k. 1.5, you know, 50 points, something to that effect, I do, if you want to compress it. Round it. Yeah. You know, 1.3, you know, million, and one point, yeah, I was you know what I mean? I, I don't know. It's just, I'm just. I thought it's, about it's, it's that. It's easier on the eye versus all the numbers. And, and yeah. Just, what do folks think? I, I would agree with that. Yeah, I was thinking that. You know, 1.15 or. or okay, you know, so yeah, round okay, it. You know, yeah, just round it up. Round off, okay. I was thinking that. Because you're right, it is a lot of numbers that are hard to do. Uh, short term goals. <laughs> you construct bunkers. Yeah. And what else? The you know, the phase then. Go I'm sorry, Nancy. Oh, I, no, I just had one sticky thing, Nancy. Um, <laughs> you're starting all with verbs as far as the presentation. Yeah. Then. then I think more permanent starts to replace tense, should start with replace tense. Gotcha. Yeah. Because yep. everything else is a verb. Starting with a verb. I got. I agree. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Improve. Your past life. Your past life. No, I like that. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Improve. <laughs> yeah, Reconstruct. Relocate. 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 The um, how about improve? I mean, short term goal. I mean, it, I don't know. I, I'm just you know spitballing this and like improve building or, or pro shop or, or, or locker rooms or something to that effect too that, because they're they're a mess. I mean, well, the structure, yeah, the, the stru it's a, it's a yeah, mess. I mean, it, it's it a is, mess. but that's it not is. short. I mean, there's a long term. A, there's uh, cosmetics like yeah. um, you know the carpet painting. I mean, those are short. 
I mean, replacing the whole building is a long-term goal, which you don't have to. Well, whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just saying I don't. Anything else? How about, how about something else around the um? Other. Have to build it. Okay. You don't have to. You can um, you can achieve a lot of these goals in one easy step. How, how about? You know the the, um, the aesthetics around there, something to that effect. Yep. That you're, that's a short-term goal that you're working on now. Too. We're doing it right now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, in the next couple of weeks, yeah. Well, again, I I think this gives the council a flavor. It doesn't say you know we address yeah. every little mm -hmm. thing that yeah, we yeah. talked about over the years, but it gives them a pleasant sense. Okay. Um, the short-term goal would be something like uh, develop study or plan as to what we want to do in 10 or 15 years. No, that's, that, that's, that's, well, that's part of the statement, statement of need. That's really yeah. the statement of need, which I think we should incorporate somehow to Short term goal is, quite, is appro approval or, or, or final acceptance of the statement of need in, 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 you know, by the town council. That could be a short term goal. I mean, it, this doesn't have to be built into there, but one of our goals is to have the town council agree. At that least yes, acknowledge that something else is done. That it is, and it, it's agreed upon, mm. right? Yep. You want that short term yeah. or long term? No, short term goal. Acceptance of by yeah, the statement of need by town council. Yeah. yeah. Gotta start there. But they have to have the statement of need before we do the presentation. That's fine. Okay. Are you moving forward with this then? Are you or all in agreement that this is moving this that's, is the final draft. This that's, is that would be the final draft. Yeah, I hope so. And it's only been around since two thousand nineteen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> longer now. Um, I think it's longer. All right, so and again, my thoughts about process is we're going to take this to a road before it goes to town council. That's what we have first. Yeah, he's uh, going to have to get you on the agenda. Right, but I, I would also like his input. Oh, absolutely. Before yeah. we yeah. present yeah. it to yeah. town council. Yeah. I mean, that he knows that. Everything goes through him. Well. Yeah. 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 Um, the clock, I'm a little concerned that slide's too busy, and I would thought about breaking it up into two, but I'm open to what folks think. So you, you superimpose the clock over on that side, right, by the starter shack? No. No, this is this no, it's still Stanley. Just yes. Oh, I was like, oh, man. No. It looks good, huh? It does. <laughs> well, no, no it's, it's like, man, the starter shack doesn't look like that. So no, no, look no, down there. I, no. And then I showed um, the it. first see, team I'm, where I'm, it would I'm, go, got it. where we want to yep. put it. Got it. With the seniors thing there. Correct. Did, can yeah. I just ask a question, if, if I may? Shoot. Has anybody talked to the seniors to see if they're willing to Give that bet up? Yeah, we did. did. We did that. Yeah. We, we talked, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're good? Yes. Oh, okay, yes. good. And I, I think we might even be able to retain that plaque somewhere. Uh, no, that's, well, that's a deal. Yeah. 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 They, okay. The seniors remain acknowledged okay, in, yeah. in that area for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts on keeping it one? Uh, I need a better, my logo isn't really clear. Can you, can you send it? I tried to find a better logo. What, your 50th? Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. It's not, it, you'll see if we saw this on a PowerPoint, it's not very clear. I don't sure I how it, I, Well, well because I think I copied it onto a Word document and then I took, took a copy from the Word document onto that yeah. versus no, the JPEG. I'll send you one that's already <coughs> done. Yeah. Brand new. Yeah. Because you have the original. It, and it's, yeah. it's crystal clear. Yeah. Keep it as one. Uh, yeah. Uh, long term goals. I think we do need to say something about the desire to have a, you know, improved. Well, I would, I guess I'd keep it broad and say improved facilities. facilities. I said improved. I said improved dining facilities. Maybe I should yeah. say improved facilities. I put facilities. Dining out. Dining out. And then I put. I, but facility. I put a slash, I said pro shop, men's and women's locker room, storage, yeah. you know, restaurant. Yeah, well, I think, that, I mean, think you know, just kind of, yeah, yeah. improved yeah. facilities, yeah. you know, and better. But, but in parentheses or whatever, just say, yeah. here's what we're looking to do, with you know, because I, I think we all agree, it, you know, and then the, the, the $50 million question, you know, well, one of them will be, uh, you know, scrape it or, uh, or, or start fresh and, you know. Okay. And, and, or even piecemeal. I, I mean, that, that, that's that's another option too. I mean, there's several several options. Right. You know what I mean? But okay. so we don't have to give. We don't know yet. We don't. We have. Well, I think we're in full full agreement on it. But it's just we could. What will work? We could put something together which would accomplish a lot of these goals. 
we could. And it would make a retain the old, but bring it forward into 2023, 24, 25. We could do it. It can but, be but done. Are, but are we fitting? Money, money, but are, but it, well, would, would money it be, makes the world go round. So yeah. <laughs> would it be more, more economical in the long run mm. to scrape it and start from scratch? The clubhouse? Yeah. Because of the no. footprint that you have. It would cost too much money. Do it. Yeah, that's a good question. We could, we could, we could you'd have to amend it. You can ask. But then you'd, you'd have, have to, you know, what, Jimmy. You have to do it both ways. Yeah, just, you know, isn't not that the point of the exploratory committee? Right. Yeah. yeah. You're going to yeah. give. You're going to no, give. No, no, you're right. That's right. No, you're going to give me two options. Thank, thanks. For, thanks for bringing us back. <laughs> <laughs> back. No, okay. You know, one example would be downstairs. That whole thing needs to be gutted downstairs and you know reconstructed because it's it's pretty ugly right now. No, Gail's right though. But you know, the explorer. You're right. You're right. Um, yeah. Long term goal would be, um, I guess, to implement <laughs> strategy Probably from realize. exploratory committee. That's actually a very good point. Mm -hmm. Anything else for long term? Yeah. I mean, do we want to say anything about utiliz better utilization <laughs> of the former tennis courts? Do we want to? Uh, you know what? You if want you to get that, that nut accomplished with the clubhouse, you've done real well. Yeah, but but you know what? I think the exploratory committee, even with that that down there, they were might they, have they, a you know what? And, and they may have another recommendation they for the may. green across the street, and then yeah, because yeah. What, if you do what I'm thinking you're going to do, you might need that space for other things. For other stuff, right? You can have a car crash, whatever. Tied you know, in, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just don't know. That's true. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know, the car paths. I mean, I, I heard something today. You know. Compressed sand. I mean, I've never heard of that. It's like, what? They're using compressed sand. You know, I, but I, I think we have too many rounds to get get away with that. But. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to make them aesthetically more pleasing. I've been on talking with people down by the shore and, and over in uh, Farmington where we get our, our stone from. You know, if could I? Dunny? Yeah, so I can top dress it with like a pea stone just so you're not yeah. seeing the millings. And he's like, well, but I do know there are certain, and I'm actually in conversation yeah, with an, a concrete guy right now. Um, can yeah. you throw some type of, um, mix and I'm not a concrete guy so I don't know so that would actually bind the, the pea stone so it, when it sets up after you you, know, you wet it, it if binds, you wet it yeah 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 um, it's essentially a, a cart path for a lot less than asphalt, the asphalt than yeah. bituminous yeah so so we'll see I'm, I'm looking at all options but I just I'm not a big fan I mean I know what the millings do and it's good because you can always from there go to the second part which is to pave you're not wasting any time or money but you know, again, aesthetically. Does that work as a base too? Yes, oh, okay. absolutely. That's there. Very few guys are not doing some type of reclaimed material for bases. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Jerry. Yes, sir. Yeah. Under yeah. long-term goals, and let's throw this out. Big question: funding. Where is the funding coming from? Do well, you're going to put funding the, options then. At that do we need yeah. to mention yeah. something about right. the funding because that's. that's yeah, you'll be okay. The funding ain't getting done. No, that's fine. No, you're, yeah. you guys are doing. You don't have to raise it. You'll be all right. We're not getting it now, so it looks like we're going to have to raise it. Uh, I, how about we talk about CPI? Do we? Um, who has the CPI figures for the last few years? CIP. 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 Oh, God. We usually do around sixty. Well, I don't want to say. You I said mean, 60, 66 Should to I just 70, say right? that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I would say on average uh, sixty-five. If you want, I mean, I can get you the it's exact based upon number. number of rounds too, well, right? I, right. Yeah. Well, I didn't know. Yeah, I think it's director. Yeah. Um, do we want just to make a statement about that around the profitability? Let me let me just get you the the numbers for the past five years. How's that? Yeah. Because I think that's important. But I be, between us, I think you're around 60, 65, 67. You know. yeah. And I could just already. It's, yeah, it's always been around there. I yeah. could just put a. Uh, <laughs> Well, we'll, we'll, well, I'll give you five years. Five. Yeah. But the rounds are these are nine hole these are nine hole rounds, correct? Yes. Yes, they're says, all converted. Yeah. Oh, that's so if that's the case, it's, a do, it's a dollar a round, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so good to know. Yeah, there you go. Uh, if the numbers are wrong, then there's then then somebody's there's a something. problem. If it's sixty thousand, <laughs> then <laughs> somebody's shortchanging them, right? I mean, there's a, it's a dollar a round at forty, mm. right? Mm. So there, there's forty three thousand dollars, unless we get more money coming in through the door. That no, we, that's how many. Oh, so it's not a round. No. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, ok
starts. Number, oh, okay. I, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to say that number okay. starts. That's more accurate. Because I was asking yeah, how I was like, man, I think yeah. he was telling well, me about huh? those numbers. Well, I always thought Lenny wanted him converted. I always thought Lenny wanted him converted to nine. I, Remember I, those I, I days? Lenny said the same thing. Those are around. Yeah. No, it's all start. Some are 18 starts and some are nine old starts. Okay. Okay. So that makes sense. Okay. That makes dollars. Sure. Sense. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anything else? Um, no. All right. Um, I will make those revisions. Nice. So you can send it out. And then um, when can we get this to a vote? When do like do you meet with him prior to a, a town council meeting? How do we? What's the process? Mm -hmm. We send it to him and say we want to be on the agenda. To Jerry meets with him. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I meet with don't. him. Um, I well, could I could email both of you yeah. with this when mm -hmm. it's finalized, and Peter well, can him. Work yeah. Yeah. Peter yeah. can email. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, Peter mm -hmm. can email mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. and you once it's finalized, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. tell him we want this on the agenda, right, Peter? Yep. Okay, puts it on the agenda, and for when we go. Uh, when do they meet next? Next week. Next week. Then the first Tuesday, Tuesday of October, or whatever that is. Oh, I'm not going to have it by mm -hmm. Tuesday. I'm no, by. by weekend. Okay. So you'd have to get it here into October, the first Tuesday in October, whatever that day it is. First Tuesday in October. That would be the next after this. Because you usually have to get everything to him like a week before. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be October the fourth. Week? The fourth. Before? Yeah. Oh, actually, I'll, get it, I'll get it done next actually, week. That's that's the first week. Tuesday is the fourth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got to move because you got to get to him. He has to look it over, and then it's got to go to Kate. Kate puts it on the agenda. Right. Well, I'll do it so next yeah. week. Oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna do it next week. Okay. I just like right. I, I yeah. can't get it. It's not gonna happen for now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. For the next. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. gonna yeah. happen for October. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you're good. And that'd be good, I think, if people could come to that meeting on October fourth. It's the same day the dead kids are dead. Okay. Thank you all for your input. Thank you for your work. Okay. All right. Update on the pros contract. Uh, I invited Arosha to come to this meeting because I felt it was important for him to squash any bugs or answer all your questions. However, he, had, he did have a prior commitment. Uh, he says, I have another engagement from 4 p.m. onwards in Glastonbury. Besides, there is nothing to report. Please tell everyone that I am following what is in the town charter and I will consult with you and with the commission before any decision is made. Okay, so he's definitely including the commission in the mix, uh, but that's all I can tell you. So, Jim, you were going to say something, so why don't you start? Yeah, I just want to air, let's air some things out. I mean, we have a golf commission, and I don't feel that everything's been set out on the table. Things been going behind our back. And Give me some to, examples, Jim, because I, why don't you just say that you're talking about okay, me? we need to clear some things up what's going on. Go ahead. Okay. Go for it. Well, you won the commission about Mark's contract. Am I on what? Well, you won any part of his contract. Absolutely not. Okay, so you went on that, right? Absolutely not. Okay. How would I be? You tell me. Did I see the RFP? Yes. Yes. Before it went out to us. The day before. And we never talked about it, right? We it's, never not, it's not for us to talk about, so we Jim. We never had a chance to have a discussion this about This is not a commission thing. The commission has nothing to do with this RFP process. We have nothing to do with the charter. We have nothing to do with this. Um, according to our why can't, this thing, why can't, well, this is true. Because, hold on, hold on. Why can't we, though? Well, well, hold on. That's a good question. Why don't we ask the town manager? Well, then, what are we doing then? I try. I try to invite him in. You know, there's, there's, there's. Listen, you know, there's a lot of talk going around, and you guys have to remember, uh, you know, because because Peter DeFazio isn't saying boo. Uh, the rumors are that I'm trying to squash the pro. I don't want him here. Uh, this, that, and the other thing. What I'm doing, James, 
and I'm looking directly at you, sir, is I am following the code of ethics that I signed that I have to do. Okay? And you signed a code of ethics that you should follow. Did Park and Rec go through this? Did Park and Rec go through what? Anything that we're going through at the golf course. Don't know. Then why are we going through it? Jim, that is not, that, uh, why are you asking, you're asking the wrong well, you're person. The one, you're the one that's always, you're the one that's doing the talking. You're supposed to be talking for us, right? Are it's, you or not? Are you, that's your job to talk for us, right? But you're no. not talking to us. No, not when it you, comes to this going, subject, you're no. Going, you're going here and you're having a discussion with somebody. I didn't have a discussion with anyone. What are you talking you, about? What are you talking about? You, you're you the, only, per, the only person having a discussion, James, is you telling people how crappy I am on this commission and how I'm how I'm say, say, how I'm hiding all this information from everybody? I think you need to step step down. Because I don't think you're doing a good job. James, okay, okay, okay. okay. that's right, fine. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you want to throw my name, okay. If you want to throw my name, right. I think you're not doing a good job. Thank, okay. That's fine. That's your opinion. All right. That's your opinion. That's your opinion. You know what? I think what we need to be is just transparent. You know, if there's things that or, or we're getting people are coming to us and with accusations, then we just need to answer them. You know what? I want to bring up this, this section 5.5 here that, mm -hmm. that was part of it. Um, the manager cannot, without the council approval, mm -hmm. um, do this contract or our Correct. Approval. So I, why haven't we gone to um, Roche and say, this is the reason why this is wrong? <clears throat> and it shouldn't happen. We never even got that opportunity. And, it, and maybe I just didn't understand the RFP right from the beginning and, and how it would impact us. But we could have stood in the way of this. From what I am told, the town manager was instructed that there are no exceptions. But why did it just happen now? Because it well, happened now. So he, he's done. He did. A good question. Ask him. Ask. A, we have to ask Arosha. So what happened? I I don't disagree question. with that question. I don't disagree so with that question. Why now? When it according, to, that question. according to according to Arosha, he's done he's done this with someone who has been on twenty years, that has been renewed, and all of a sudden now that that went out to RFP. So I don't know. Well, I don't know why now. It's, it's I can't answer that. To, the town has a list of vendors that we can use. Mm -hmm. Every couple of years, it goes out to bid. And that, and whether you, when, whether you like, you know, person. this guy or that guy or that service, mm -hmm. they go out to bid and it comes back and they provide us, the managers. Okay, you have a here's your list. list that you're working on. Right. Right. So, so it's not the town does that, but the, the, the state does. The that. state does it. And the you town pick does it. Out, you know you services. But, yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, they're not employed. Mark is not an employee of the town. Correct. He's, he's a subcontractor. He's a 1099. Yep. So he's really no different than a concrete company, a paving company, a tree company. And every couple of years, it goes out, it goes out, it goes out. Whether or not they get it, well, that's another story. But I have a question for Mark. I, I did guess. you have you spoken to Arosh? You did you know the RFP was coming? Oh, yeah, out? he emailed me after I guess he interviewed and Pete, you were on the interview panel for the director. Of Correct. The he emailed me after and he said we're going to put an RFP up for the golf pro job and that's pretty much how he left it. Okay, so you knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Okay. Oh yeah. Do I agree with it? No. Okay. Not. That's me. No, I know. My I'm just is, curious. If my you thing know. is the sentence. Manager with council approval may, may waive the requirement to seal bid if it is deemed in the best interest of the town. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I mean, listen, I know I do a good job up there, Great whatever, job. but like, I feel like I'm in the best interest of the town. That's the Absolutely. way I feel. So, I don't know, I don't know why they're going about it the way they are. I know when we had Stonehenge in there, there was a bid waiver for them to do the job on 12. It's in the so, I mean, it's done. It's been done. It's been done a lot. <laughs> the only way you get a, 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 a waiver similar to that is if there was no one else that was capable of doing that job. So, if you go and you can say they're a sole source provider, and that there's really nobody else that we, we, we tried, we called, we tried to solicit uh, bids, we tried to solicit quotes, 
nobody got back to us. We just say, okay, these are the people we called, because you gotta call them. Mm -hmm. These are the no-shows, these are the people that didn't respond. They did, they're essentially a sole source provider. Go with them. I do so, agree yeah, that. I'll, I'll agree. And it's gonna work that way with the bridges too. You're gonna have only a couple of companies, maybe, that are gonna bid the job. Maybe. Correct, correct. Okay, so. And you know, Jim. Just so you know, the, the contracts that he's talking about are on the DAS website, Department of Administrative Services website, the state of Connecticut, right? And they'll just piggy, all the towns will piggyback off of that. That's, that's so, and that's fine. However, in, in our, the ordinance that created us, know. you know, and if this is, I, I assume that this is word for word, right? It says, yeah. provide input and recommendations uh, in the negotiation for all proposed contracts. Well, you know, I, I, so there, there's I violation. Found that very okay, I, when I yeah, okay, so, it from so, the right, uh, so, so that's number one. Number two is Mark has a contract, right? So I'm not going to get involved in, in this, but Mark has a contract, and the contract, um, like many of them. <laughs> have the opportunity to extend them, Yep. correct? Mm -hmm. yep. And, 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 and you do that for a reason, right? You have yep. a three or five year contract yep. and you say, listen, I'll have five, or, you know, three or five, one, one year options on this thing. Mm -hmm. Well, here we are, it's almost October, we're, we're, we're in September, right? A contract is up in November. And December. December, oh, I'm sorry, December, yeah. But there's still another year left on that contract. No, no. no. Yes, no. No, no. He has a chance for an extension. Let me finish. Please, let me finish. So you're, let me finish. Yeah. Please. You have there's an offer. There's a reason that you put the extensions on there. It's up to uh, it's up to the town, or the the, you know the, the, or the state or whoever it was, whether they want to renew that contract or not, and it's up to them. So this didn't even have to happen. As far as I'm concerned, it didn't even have to happen now, because there's a one year extension on there. There you go. But you know something? We're, we're dumping all over a roast. It's well, the town council that's, well, that's, that's driving this. That's what it sounds like. It's I, the I town don't council know. that's driving this. Well, we well, should be going well, to the town well, council. Well, then, then, the then people should go to the town uh, council and talk and, to the town and, council and, 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 and say, know, listen. And, and start <clears> with the mayor and say, what's going on? Who's There's got to be somebody on the town council that made this an issue. Right. And they said, going forward, it's got to be done this way. That's what we need to find out. Right. Well, Okay. And like you said, how come all of a sudden it pops out of the air? It's got to go their way. Is this a procedure done at other area golf courses with their pros? No. 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 Nope. No. Mark, Mark, this, this is what David was just saying. Dave Dave said that before, right? It's right. How would yeah. you go out versus no. contract? Oh, no. No. Bob and Hunter. No, they just, they, they never they, has here. No, I haven't. So it never has gone out to bed? That was going to be my question. The only no. time it's gone out to bed is when. It's a slap in the face, no matter how you look at True. it. Like, you, I'm just going to speak personal. The last month has not been fun up there. I've been True. A lot of people ask no me kidding. My job, am I losing my job? I got colleagues it's, ask me what's going on. It's, it's a very awful. poor environment. Uh, and yeah. It could have been prevented, I feel. Yeah. If it was thought through. It's but I mean, whoever's in charge obviously didn't think this all the way through. Didn't know how it would affect the environment of the golf course. I got outings that are looking to book next year. I got leagues looking to book. Well, what am I supposed to tell them? I may not be here. I may not be here. It may be a two-year contract, and then I might not be here. Like, I don't, I don't know. Well, what you just mentioned there is the best interest of the town I, to get everything going. I know it is, it's, but I mean, it affects the funding in this whole charge yeah. obviously hasn't been informed properly. That's the way I look at it. And that's where right. I think we dropped the ball. I don't care what this says. Exactly. It's the idea that if this was going on, we should have been not only informed in detail, but said, went to the council and said, hey, listen, this is what's really going on up here. This is how valuable this person is. Mm -hmm. And right here, it says, the manager with council approval may waive this requirement. That's we right. didn't even make a stand. That's what bothers me more than anything else. Mm -hmm. We let this shit yeah. go right over our heads. Yep. And did we miss it? Or did we not get informed of all the parts of the equation? I don't know. I'm trying to find out. I would say the latter. The yes, it's the latter. I mean, nobody, I didn't, we didn't know about it. No, it's just, we didn't know anything just about wrong. it. But when this started, we should but have I chimed in right from the beginning and going, down. time out. But mm -hmm. Sebi, you hit the nail on the head. I mean, so, someone had to initiate this thing right. yes. going yes. forward, right? Yeah. And, and, and so... Yeah. Let the cards fall where they may. Exactly. I mean, people may not like where they're going to fall. I mean, especially the town council. Right. But guess what? 
you know, it's a it's, a, it's an election year, right? Because the town council know this. Because the town council know this. Because the town council know this. It's an election year for the town council. No, that's not. That's not the council. Jimmy, Peter, does the town council? Does the town council know about what? About what's going on here. I have no idea, Jim. You have to ask the town council. I have no idea. I I don't. I'm not talking to them. Jerry, you talk to the you talk to the town manager. Does he have any clue what's going on? Give the town council. He does. Yeah, he's intimately involved, Jim. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yes, he's he the is. One who, yeah, he's the one who initiated. Well, he's the one who the Now, is he aware and, and if if any of if any of you think oh, that I am in that I am privy absolutely. to any information about the town taking the range back, or the town uh, taking the cart revenue, one hundred percent of the cart revenue back, because these are rumors that I'm hearing, I haven't been told anything about any of that. And truly, in in in, in, fa in a fact in factual right form. So those are. Right now, as far as I know, those are rumors or, or who knows. But nobody talked to me about any of that. When is the next town council? The 20th. 20th. The Tuesday. Yeah, tomorrow. I mean, next week. Next week. Peter. And I'm just trying to get Maybe answers, for, answers for oh, something. Yeah. Um, this, are you on a panel for the RFP? Or did they? Um, when you no, go, there is no panel. There's no panel. But what did you, well, the did evaluation you committee. The, the evaluate, are you part in some way? I'm, what I'm asking because I'm listening here. Um, are you going to be one of the persons who interviews potential people? I'm trying to get multiple people on the commission to do that. Okay, that's. Just, I would have liked to know that way ahead of time that that this is the stuff that was going on. That you, you, know, you are you guys yeah. telling me you didn't know that the NARFP process was in place? No, no, no. Oh, no. Well, no we, we oh come on, guys. You knew no, about no, this. It was, we did. I just, I, we I, were told at the last meeting. Yeah, I just didn't understand. Yeah, we were told at the last yeah. meeting. It was already out, though, right? No. So we were told at the last meeting that there was going to be an RFP process. Now, this is my understanding, that there was going to be an RFP process. I naively thought, it was maybe not everybody on the commission, but certain members of the commission, would have an opportunity to bet the RFP. You would think, right? right? I mean, exactly. if you look I did see the, the RFP. Sir? I did see the RFP. <laughs> the day before. The day before, yeah. And, and, but, but I saw it. <laughs> but, Peter, what I'm referring to is like Input. several of us would have had a chance to review to it and say, yay, nay, we'd like to change this. or right. And the town, the town could have said, okay, or they could have said, thanks for your input, but we're yeah. not changing it. Right. That's our job. That's right. That's, that, that's part of the ordinance, job. right? That's part of our well, why we, we were we creating. Can, we can we can make recommendations, make but if it's not presented <laughs> to us, we can't make well, recommendations. That, that, that's exactly. You know, this is the, the RFP is open is is so open ended right now. There's right. no, I mean, it's it's vague. It's, yeah, it's very. Vague. So there's nothing to really discuss until right. the person sits down with the town and starts negotiation right. with the town. Contract. And that's when you, that's when you as a commissioner can have all the input that you want in there this. But until then, until these bids are see, uh, until these bids are open, so you really I, can't say much. Well, let me ask. No, let me answer a question about that. I, I just, can. Well, of course we can, because you can go to uh, audience of citizens and say anything see. you want. So my thought is maybe going to audience of citizens next week mm -hmm. and talking about people can say what they want to say again it's your, your freedom of speech but support um you know the good work that mark has done and and, mm -hmm. uh, and all the uh positive things like you came here tonight mm -hmm. right? to us I don't know if you could do that as a commissioner because you have to remain impartial and you have to you have to mm -hmm. you have to keep your mind open to what is in the best interest of the town and, I and the best interest of the town is right now is certainly mark barum right. mm -hmm. and I can, but why, until the bids are open how do we know jim you're absolutely right it should not it never have come to that right. you're absolutely right that is not something that we can control yes tom mm -hmm. i don't know if it's appropriate but i'm going to say this right yeah. so two things so that slide that you showed if that's in the ordinance, what you need to do is check the charter. This document, mm -hmm. it has what your responsibilities are in the charter. And, and we're, not, realize, we're not in the charter. Huh? We're not in the 
Commission is yeah, yeah, no, uh, if, you go, if you go to the website under the, in the front that's page of the Golf Commission, you'll see what our duties are. Right. We, well, that's right. That's, that's right. That's right. Exactly. I can't speak for Timberland. I can tell you for Parks and Rec, the commission is advisory only. Mm -hmm. And so are we. Like bidding, unless we push for it, which we do, we try and stay on top of these things, uh, we don't see the bids. We don't see the documents. We don't see what they go out. Right. We, we are notified even after they select. Right. But so we try and stay on top of it. That, and that, okay. Not that that's right, but that's just the Well, way. that's an informational point. So it doesn't, I, we're not, it's not like. I don't know that. It, so what you need to do is check, check the, the charter, charter. Make sure those words are coming from the charter in your slide. That okay. second bullet. Yeah. I will. Uh, they came from, I took them from the ordinance. I didn't realize we're in the charter there's as well. Charter, and there's a charter vote in November. Well, yeah, I know that. They're I gonna, know the, I know so that. if they were going to chart change, the chart. say the commission, mm -hmm. the Nurture Commission, they would have put a change in there. So you can count on whatever the charter says your responsibilities <laughs> are. They're not going to change that. Because they're, tra they're trying to change some other things, but well, they're not changing that. The reason I am, I'm questioning it is because I know one of the questions is they're trying to change the VNA from the charter to an ordinance. Yeah. We are, the commission is an ordinance. I'm not sure we're in the charter, but I'm going to check. Jack, Thank check you. it. And that's helpful. It, I will it check. should be because that's what protects the commission, right? right. So well, it, I, I think it, we're but, in ordinance. I'm not sure we're in the charter. The, the other so thing is to audience the citizens. I personally know next <laughs> Tuesday is going to be a full house of people that are coming to talk about this stuff. Okay. People that aren't here. I just tell you, I, I've, sure. I've gotten calls myself. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. So, um, but um, you can. And I do it all the time, speak as a commission. But what, in Parks and Rec, what we do is, and Joe's on Parks and Rec, we, I, before I speak as a commission member, I make sure the commission feels comfortable with what I'm saying and that we agree to what we're saying as a commission. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yeah. you speak as an ordinary citizen, you have every right to do that. Yeah. So, but, That's correct. Uh, Thank you. So, but as a commission, and normally I, as chair, I, I'm normally the one to get up and yeah. say, I'm speaking on behalf of Parks and Rec Commission. We're unanimous mm -hmm. in this point, whatever your point is. So that's, that. but you speak an audience of citizens when you do that. But Pete, are you saying that because I'm a commission on this commission that I can't go to a town council meeting and speak as a golfer? You can. You can. Yeah. You, can. Yeah. you could speak as a golfer. Yeah. I don't know if you could speak as a commissioner, though. No, you can't. You, no, can't speak speak. you cannot speak as a commissioner. You, you can speak okay, as a. I can go and speak as a citizen. I, I don't. I don't but see what I mean. You know, you can't divulge anything that you know as a commissioner. Right. You're right. speaking but, as a citizen. Okay. The other thing I'm going to tell you is, while you were sitting there, I started looking up bids, golf pro bids for towns in Connecticut. So I know West Hartford there was a retirement, but I don't know if it was 21. They went out to bid. There's a bid proposal mm -hmm. in 2021 mm -hmm. for you know the for Richie Crow's job. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know one retired, but I, mm -hmm. but there are bids out there for golf pros mm -hmm. in the state. Mm -hmm. well, that's that's yes, yes. Yes. Or uh, case, it's yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's very yeah. similar to what you know the town did. It's a little different, but I just looked it up here. Okay. That's nope. for people that's that have their vacancies. <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't right. know. It, it is. Yeah. 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 The evaluation of that. Well, it, yeah, it, that's a conflict of interest. That's that's, that's okay. where I'm going with this thing. So you are free to speak your mind. Peter, on the other hand, since he looked at the RFP, is prohibited from discussing any aspect of that thing. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. So that's that's a legal legally he can't do that. But he can represent the commission. He can he represent can the share. commission. Yes. He can, but again, but he can't true. discuss on the outside, like on the outside. <laughs> he can't discuss any aspect. If he doesn't, he's fine. Period. Okay. Same with Jerry. Jerry can't do that either. Yes, sir. Uh, when uh, you go out to bid and you apply for the job, you apply for the job as the pro here, you have to be a PGA member to apply for this job. You just apply for the job. You don't say how much you want in that. It's then up to the council or whatever to decide you're the person and then you negotiate salary. 
or or is no, it that every every so, single yeah. person that applies for it says I'm willing to do the job for ten bucks a year or twenty bucks a year or a hundred dollars a year yeah. in the RFP you have to put what you think you should make at the site so they're asking for people to submit you know how much they think they should make at the right. site yeah but it doesn't have to be low bid because that's to be approved by the town council no, no. Yeah. well no no the town no, council is the ultimate approval correct. Right? Correct. You, so it doesn't have to be a little bit. No. Listen, uh, let, let me just say this, right? And, and I'll, I'll talk to you at, 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 as impartial as I can possibly because I have nothing to do with the contract. I have nothing to do with the contract. But at the end of the day, right, no matter, no matter who decides what or whatever, it has to be approved by the town council, right? So this is all a moot point. We're, 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 we're discussing this stuff, and, and it's good that everybody in the audience can actually you know, hear this. But at the end of the day, the town council has the final say. At the end of the day, yeah, right? but it's a mute point unless you're it, Mark. It's a moot point. Well, <laughs> you know, in his no, his no it, it, it is the fact. Listen, listen, I love, I love Mark. I, yeah. I think he's done a great job. I think we, are, I think we're all. It, listen, it, he's it, the face it, of Timberland. There's no doubt about it. Has taken it from what it was when somebody walked away with money, right? I mean, let's just call it what it was and, and what it's been, and and to what it is today, and 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 that's it. I mean, what are you gonna do? That's it. There, there is the face of Timberland. You know, you can put that right on the. Commission report, you know, big picture, mark, or whatever, though. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why, we, the, 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 listen, we all agree with that. We do. But at the end of the day, it's up to the town council, you know, and, and, and if people want to get in front of the town council and get in their face, then, then so be it. And they have every right to do that. And, and believe that's your right as a citizen, and you should express your concerns. Very right. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry. Never mind. I'll shut up. No. No. Good. That's very good. good. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, so, when will this be? When does the RFP end? Actually, October fourth. Next okay. Tuesday. Um, and okay. then. No, two weeks. Then, what do they October. see as Three. the lag time before a decision is made? A decision. Yeah. I think it's in the RFP. November. I think it's yeah. yes, November, November fifteenth meeting or something. So they, And those um, those bids are opened publicly, so you can go. Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah. You can go and see how many how many people bid on it. You can read the bids. Yeah. You can do all that. Where do they come in? Where, where Town do they hall, right here. We, right at our. They, they, they have, have to our tell website. you where they're going to open them up and yeah. the time they're going to open them up. I don't know if they're going to be on the website, but you can come up here and read. It. Oh, okay. That has, that has to be a, that's a public. It's a, uh, it's a public opening. It, it has to be. They just can't it open is. them up. Yeah, it, it is. is. So they'll give you the time they'll post it and on place. The no, whatever. That, however long it's going to take, yeah, it's going to take. They'll, they'll, they'll October 4th at what, 2 o'clock? I have plenty of questions just on like that. Just like we thing. could have read the Bright View. You, can come up, you could have come yeah. up here and read the Bright View um, report. Um, I would check with, with Kate, if you're on the commission and you do intend to speak at the audience of citizens, I would check with Kate first. Just to make sure that you can speak on as a private citizen and not as a commissioner, because you are on the commission. So whether or not that that does anything or not, I don't know. But if I were you, I would check it first so that you don't get yourself in trouble. You may have to clarify that you're speaking as a private exactly. Citizen. You may have to state that up front. I'm okay, but I would citizen. check. I would check with you're Kate. Here. Call Kate. Check with her. And just say I intend to speak as a, as a as a non commissioner as a as a golfer whatever uh, resident. Can I do so? And, and you know what are the, what are the things? Okay, I just want to make sure that everyone is yeah, so full disclosure. Full disclosure. You disclose you're on the commission. That means you're speaking you're, for all of us. Yeah, but, right. but you say I'm speaking as a citizen, citizen. or a taxpayer. You say you're not, on the commission. That means you're speaking for all yeah. of us. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking as a commission member. I'm talking as a Right. That's why I'm just saying, you know, call Kate and ask her. I'm not going to call and ask for you guys because I want you to do that so that you can hear from the horse's mouth of what, what, what needs to be done or what you can and cannot do. Okay, I personally cannot speak on, uh, at all, okay? And, and believe me. It's not that I don't want to. I bet you've got a lot to say. Okay, um, but... Um, I can't. 
And I think people here know how I feel personally. So. Is this going to be the process every time now? Yeah. I sure hope not. But well, I don't know. You know, and that's a negotiation too. Is how long is his contract? You know. Well, it's going to be one year at a time. Nobody's going to want to. Exactly. I, I, I would be going out to bed. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Usually it's several years. Or, or so, well, it should. Be. But usually they didn't have to do this. I know. I understand. I, I know. Mark. Look at, I, I have the Mark. Mark. You know what? Nobody is in. No. Mark. Nobody is in your shoes. Nobody is in your shoes but you. Yep. You got to look up for you and your family. And it's totally understandable, and this is a, a totally unfortunate situation. Um, but we are where we are, and you know, we're un un unfortunately we are an advisory board only, and there's a lot of things that we're not told in this town. So, and we're not the only commission either that that this happens to. So, yep. this town is, uh, you know, they have their way of doing things, and that's it. All right, anything else? All right, uh, Jerry, the dump truck and the tractor? Yeah, working with Jim Simons right now to secure both pieces. Uh, they will be used, both pieces will be used. Uh, speaking with him, he thinks it's gonna be a rather difficult task to uh, find a good used dump truck. I would tend to agree, and especially one that uh, we can afford, but um, we are looking, we're working with a company out of Torrington on the tractor, uh, a large tractor you know, retailer out that way. So uh, that is in the in the works, and uh, hopefully we'll get it done by the beginning of winter. So we'll have a snow plow. Are you going to be rep responsible then for plowing the um, the parking lots? We always not responsible. The highway opens up down Bates Drive and make a loop into the lower lot, and then make a pass into our building. And then once we come in, we open up the lower lot, the walkers road, or, or, or whoever gets there, whether it's us or grounds. Well, or who's responsible for doing that? That that walkway going from down below to the to the uh, uh, Chamberlain Highway. Oh, the walkers road. Yeah, the walkers road. We share it with grounds. But who's responsible for doing that? Grounds. The grounds. Then yeah. why are you even involved in that? Well, we do. If they can't get there, we will. The, because no, that's not what I meant. If, if, if their responsibility, why are you doing that? If you can't. If Grounds didn't have the nerve enough or, or, or the courtesy enough to lend you some equipment to chop down some of the, 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 the weeds that are eight, 10 foot high weeds that are sitting right there on, on number not, uh, 18, 18, number number 13, you know, why are you bothering helping them out? I mean, no offense. No, I mean, that's just, highway. Highway is it's, it's, it's still, you know, this is, I don't care who Because it is. the walkers want the road open. Well, and that's great, but you know what? <laughs> and if they don't, the phone starts ringing. Then, so let the phone ring. It's mm -hmm. not your phone. Well, yeah, I get the emails. But that's not your job. Well, we try I mean, to work together. That, that, but it's <laughs> not happening. I agree with you. But it's, not, it's, a, it's a one-way street. Yeah. Yeah. No, and, one yeah, the analogy isn't a good one. We, we don't use or get the flail because the flails in other parts of the town doing more important work than knocking down weeds on a golf course. They're opening up areas that are of a safety issue where you can't see coming out of orchard or, or how long? Wherever. How long would it take to, to I mean, We've had kids. And I there. can't speak for highway. How long it takes? Right, well, that's fine. That's fine. Excuse Let's me. Don't, let me go back to that. I have a question. And and I'm not a landscaper. Yeah. Right. But we had a ton of kids sitting out there this morning. I'm not this morning, but but all summer long. That that were hired, right? The the all the all the, but the part timers. Mm -hmm. A kid with a sickle or a uh, a pole saw could mm -hmm. have just knocked half of that stuff down. No. Yeah, we did. We did 14. We did 13. I, I, worked way well, I can show you a picture on 18. I'm 6'3". 18 in front, eight, of, uh, three, in front of the back tee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that thing's yeah. got to be like 8, 10 yeah. feet high. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that just didn't, that doesn't grow that fast, right? No, Unless it, you use miracle well, growth. Right? Yeah. I mean, and I don't think you're putting miracle growth on the weeds. No. Right? So, it, there this are didn't happen overnight. The kids did, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know uh, what you want me to say. Why didn't that get done? Well, we were doing other things on the course. You know, I, I don't know. That back tee gets used how much? And it, quite honestly, there was, it, there really wasn't an obstruction until I, I can honestly say right about now or maybe a week ago where you could say, well, yeah, if you hit the tee ball, it's gonna, it's gonna hit the top of the weed or whatever. If you hit a, a, a worm burner. So. I mean, you have, even on, on nine. Nine, there's, 
I, I haven't played. I haven't played the course in, in you know since Monday. Yeah. But even nine, I think there. On the right hand side, there's you know there's, some there's stuff on the right hand side, but on the front, for the most part, it's. Well, it's the back tees, right? The, the, the white and blue tees had stuff all, all around the. Yeah, on that part. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In front of that, yeah. that's that's fine. On the, the far front. right side, but we don't put the. T well, that tee box doesn't go as far right any longer. I'm just saying it's a, it, 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 it seems that things just, you know, it's more reactive. That's all I'm saying. Do you have something to say, Jim? No, and I mean, oh, I'm just saying what he was saying. Yeah, he's right. I mean, because it doesn't take that long to cut that stuff down. I mean, if you cut that over the fence more, all right, that would take that down. It's not like it. It's going to take Absolutely. 20 minutes to cut it down. Yeah. But like you said, they don't want to give you the equipment. Right? It's not they don't want to. It's committed to other parts of the town. There's one flail mower in the town. I mean, you couldn't. And if it breaks over. down, there's no flail mowers in the town. Yeah. Do we well, have that many dangerous spots? That will, he that he starts, honestly, he, it takes him the entire year insane. to do the town route. It does. Just like the sweep. There's one sweeper in town. When that breaks down, there's no sweepers in town. Right now, he's about eight weeks behind. How much is one? What's that? How much is one of those machines? A flail yeah. with the tractor and everything. You're probably looking at a hundred and a half. Okay. Well, well, then again, too. I mean, it, you know, like people rent equipment to put it usually. I mean, do you ever think about maybe once a month renting one and coming into the golf course and do it, find some money to rent one, and we do it ourselves, or your help do it. I mean, I don't see where there's a problem there. Yeah, I, I, you do everything else. You can rent, you, you rent other stuff. I think it'd be pricey to do. Well, to I don't think rent. it's that pricey. I don't think it's that pricey. They have somebody in to cut it down. No, yeah, I mean, you, I made mean, you made a hundred thousand I mean, dollars last year. Huh? You made a hundred and some odd thousand dollars last year, right? I mean, yeah. So. I mean, yeah. I mean, you got you got to spend some money somewhere to get some things well, done at that bank. All that so money's I mean, going back into capital. Plus, where? Back into capital plus. Well, what capital? I don't see it done at the golf course. Capital, bridges, equipment, and so forth. You got a dump truck. You got a Kubota. You got the bridge. No, we're talking about the golf course. You're not talking I'm talking about the, the golf course. Right, that all pertains to the golf course. Can we clarify that? Sure. That actually is not the 118 profit we made. That's money that was, if I understand correctly, that didn't get spent. The money that didn't get spent in other line of cup. What happens is, at the end of the year, right. finance cut all the capital. Right, so Nobody had any capital. I understand. Okay. At the end of the year, they wait and see what's in the pot. <coughs> right, leftover from operations. From operations. Correct. And I'm sure our, our monies are, are factored in as well. They take that pot and they throw it out there and say, okay, and then this is what we're giving to you, to you, to you. And they but prioritize. And, right, but it's from your own operations. So we yeah. Right, so we still, that 118 is not what funded the dump truck and all that. That did, yes. That did. No, because it was transferred from the other account. It was transferred it, from He may the have operating. dumped it into he may have dumped it into our profit into the general fund or that capital account. And from that it came back to I, I the think, golf course. I think what Kiel was saying that Jerry, if we had ended up spending all our money yeah. that we had budgeted, yeah. we still would have got the dump truck in Kubota. I think that's what what's being said here. We, we still would have got it because it was it was right in the top of the toward the top of the list. Yeah, I, only because see, the, the, right here are the. So the, where you you so, so where we what line item were you going to pull that out of to go buy a Kubota or a dump truck? Tell no, me. He, he, what she's saying it would probably it would have been reallocated it, back to the, to, the, to the from to from the from the town money. Already. Yeah, but all that all that was all that money that was in contingency no. all got dumped into the pot yeah, but and it all came every, back to the town. All of it. From every, every everybody, everybody who didn't spend their budget is what, what I think. What That's right. Everybody right. who everybody didn't, didn't spend, spend their, their budget, budget all that money went pot. back into the pot. It got thrown back right. into the and pot so and we, reallocated. Right. And so right. But what she's saying, if I if I'm hearing her correctly, is whether you spent that or not is irrelevant. Right. You would have gotten money for the for for, for your your Some improvements any anyway. Correct. Correct. Right. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. We would have gotten those anyway. So I just want to be clear that this this 118 profit technically. We haven't seen back at the golf course. Mm -hmm. uh, don't we have an ordinance change coming up, Jerry, about um, 
that all profits and stuff will stay within Timberland. I, I know yeah, they well, it's it's they're it's working, like that, they're working towards that. Um, Who's the they? Well, finance and Roche. You know, in the first year when we did the 160, that all went into the general fund. We know that we couldn't we do anything. That. We couldn't do time. anything about that. Yeah. Uh, the 118, it's my understanding, is coming back. That's what I, you know, Kevin told me, and and, and so but I think happens. going forward, the profits, whatever profits they may be, will stay at the golf course. Does that happen based on an ordinance change? Um, that's a good question. Is it based because on an ordinance up, right? change? And that's what I'm mm. driving at. Is, is that on the table? Um, I don't know if it's going to be an ordinance, and I really don't want to misspeak. I, I don't want to mislead you, but I don't know if it's a, an ordinance change or if it's just an accounting, the way they do their accounting. <laughs> well, well manip- know, you know, however wrong, he does his accounting. Word. I'm not an accountant, I can't tell you. So I, I don't know that it's so much an ordinance change where the ordinance says you must match revenue to expenses. Um, I think it's more of an accounting thing that they'll be doing, setting up, whatever they do. And don't ask me what that is, because it's right now it's not done. Right. It's not done right I now. Know we've been trying to get yes. in that direction. And it's my understanding, that. and I think Arosh and Kevin, if they were so would agree, monies going forward are gonna be coming back to the golf course. Good, bad, or otherwise. Yeah, well, Jerry, mm-hmm. um, I know I brought this up before, I'm gonna mm-hmm. bring it up again. Mm-hmm. Um, we talked about, you know, how you've been putting a lot more rough and, you know, making it much more challenging the course, Mm. and that's all well and good. I guess I want to know why, because, you know, you're only making it more difficult for the seniors. So you mean by, like, saying not having a fairway on four? No, how about 16? 16, yeah. 16, yeah. No, 16. 16, yeah. You might as well pretty soon just take the uh, fairway Mm -hmm. away. Yeah. I mean, it's getting smaller and smaller. Yeah. And I know the rope is long too, but I'm mm-hmm. just thinking about even on uh, 17, where they're closing it, they've got the, you know, it's coming out the rough and coming where instead of it going right through. I mean, you're, you we cut it back from the uh, from the stream many many years ago. We eliminated all that it used to go to the stream because they'd have well, to grow grass down there. That was 17 on the T side. Really haven't done much to anything on 17. Maybe, maybe on the maybe, maybe on the green maybe side. Eight. I don't know, but what I'm saying is that eight. No, we haven't touched eight. Have, well, a little bit on eight towards the bottom. You want to have? I mean, it just seems like every single hole you're just making. We have shorter cut back. We ha- well, we've field. cut back like on the par threes, like four, mm-hmm. like sixteen. We have. Yeah. We have. Um, if it's something we want to revisit, and if we want to enlarge those couple of holes on the par threes, I have no problem with that but whatsoever. I mean, I brought this the up reason and being, it, every square foot equals dollars. Okay. Mm-hmm. We would have to use four tanks of material, four 300-gallon tanks, to spray fairways and tees. We now use three. If you've got $5,000 per tank going out, and, you've gonna, and you're going to do 15 sprays a year, do the math. It's a lot of money. So, so the price is going up? You, well, you're chemicals have gone through the roof, so yeah. So is that why you have done well, that? So yeah, we're trying, to, we're trying to, you know, it's, it's everything. It's, it's less time for the guys on the machine. Um, it's it's really it's it's a function of the chemicals, the cost of the chemicals, and what we've cut it back to be. You know, I so there is a dollars and cents to it. Though, but but I understand I, the playability part too. Yes, and I'm just saying yeah, that you, yeah. you know you want nice to have uh, nice good pace of play, and you know you're just making it more difficult for people to yep. be able to move. Well, on. you know, you talk about pace of play. We're going to be shortening the rough next year. Oh, actually, starting this fall, we're going to reduce the height of the rough. And hopefully that'll you know pick up the uh, the pace, but um, how about you know, two different cuts like a, mm-hmm. no because it's more money oh. you know that. But then you know our league is ending anyway, so no. you can keep it I think you know I think it was Mark because he wanted to draw up lessons. You think he yeah. wanted to <laughs> what it was? I'm sorry, uh, but I, I'm just thinking that you know, yeah. Yeah. this isn't just I'll take the blame. Take this isn't just the course to have it challenging for the really good golfers. This is a public course that is for Everyone. all ages, yeah, absolutely. and I really think that sometimes they don't realize that how difficult they make it for the seniors. Yeah, you know, for example, not to belabor the point. Like on one, for example, number one fairway, there's a lot of real estate there, a lot of real estate, left and right, more so right. So if you were to eliminate 
a six or eight foot swath on the right hand side. And it's really not going to make a difference in the playability, <coughs> but it makes a difference to us when we're spraying. If you take that and you do that there and you do it on, you know, five or you, you know, on left and right up on five or six, next thing you know, you start adding things up. You're talking, you know, you could conceivably be talking three, four, five thousand dollars per spray going out. You can. But I also understand your point with the playability, pace of play. I get that. I get that. And again, if you, you want to have a conversation that. with, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I just a question, and it's probably off the wall, but there's a there's a senior men's tea. How come there's not a senior women's tea? Uh, uh, I can't do anything. Oh, no, that's the truth. I've sometimes, always said that. Sometimes no, the senior men's tea is the senior women's tea. Yeah. Why is that? It's like, right? They're picking on you, Nancy. I, I, I know. Know. I no, they're, you better do they're not picking there, so it's a compliment. <laughs> You're as good as the man. <laughs> <laughs> the reason, just a real, <laughs> Nancy, real, real quick, because we do that, because the senior tees, many of them are very, very small. Mm -hmm. And they get beat up too, for example. So you've got to give that back part of that senior tee a rest. So what we'll do is we'll bring them up forward okay. next to Same thing on 17. We'll bring them up close because it's a very, very small tee. We used to take the whites or the golds, and they used to be, for example, on. Um, oh, Jerry, come on. You just said, huh? Okay, we're done. But we used to like on two. The senior used to be up on that okay, first so deck. Oh, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, everybody have questions on the pan? Yes. Can we switch the camera? No, we can't. I mean, I can't. I. I no, I, I get it. I try, you know, I, I, I can't do it. I could turn off the camera over there. No, well, I could. No, I can't, actually. I could stop his video. No, no, no. Why? I was getting hungry. <laughs> I think he had all food up for dinner. Um, okay. Anybody have questions on the PNL? Can we also? Have, I mean, you're doing this for fiscal year all the time, and I see that, and that's great. Well, you've you got know. the calendar as well. I didn't see that one. You're up. Uh, well, Mark gave you that one for calendar. That's not just the revenue. No, not, that's yeah. just the revenue. I want, oh. I'm talking about the P and L. Oh, okay, okay. That, that, that's, yeah, yeah. Okay. I look at this as a seasonal. It's a seasonal business. Mm -hmm. we're in, right. Mm -hmm. I mean, not a, yeah, yeah, yeah. The fiscal year is fine for for, for you know the, the, the bean counters or whatever. But for us, you know, we're looking at this thing. You know, you want to. That, that's how I look at things. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Okay, sure. All right, I get thank it. you. All right. I get it. But the good news is. In the first yeah. two months of operation, you've already achieved one third of your budgeted revenue for the 2020 year. Yeah. You're I, doing I, pretty darn good. I, I see that, and I see you put a, a new statement line on there for revenue for um, range, and and I'm I'm still kind of baffled right. on, on range revenue on that one, right? CFP. On your, on your, on your Kevin's. On your on your P and L, you have range revenue. Yeah, Kevin's. Right, and and so, is, are they thinking this is a? Um, a done deal that they're going to take the range. I, yeah, I, I disagree I with know. the town taking over the range. I, I, I truly know. do, but that's just my opinion. I don't know. We need to get a Rocha here at a yeah. meeting. So, okay. Um, next. Two benches donations from Porter family. Any comment about that? No. I haven't seen the benches. Are they nice benches? They're like just yeah. Yeah. They're nice, but they're all pieces. <laughs> Maybe they're so pieces. we got to put it together, right? Yeah, we've got to build a slab for them. They just dropped it right off on a pallet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we got to move and it. now, where, here, is it down below now? Yeah, it's in our shop. Sleeping. It's in our shop. Oh, you're going to put them on slabs? Yeah. You have to. That type of bench, you have to. It's got to be on a perfectly level surface. Was that like Billy McCabe's bench, that type of deal? Yeah. It's, it's um, all granite. It's all granite. I'll show you a picture. Oh, okay. well, yeah, I'll show nice. you the inscription. All right, while you're doing that, uh, any questions on the account balances? No. Very good. This is the back of it, Jim. 
Okay. Hmm. May I see it, please? Sure can. Give to Mr. Can I pass it around? Fine. That's great. So where's that going? It's on the driving range, just two of them. So I need to get to you to approve that so I can bring it to council. Did they approve it? Hmm? Take a vote so that I can say, so I can take it to council. Are we? So there's something, you know what? Why don't we have to but there's something, there's something well, exactly. the well, this was last meeting. This yeah. list, yeah. Mm -hmm. this, this, no, this, this is a donation. That's a donation. That goes yeah. to the council. At, 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 what, at what point do we decide what, what is too much and what? Because this came up the last meeting, right? Yeah. It, it is. Mm -hmm. and, and so the reason why I wanted to see this again, just I wanted to see what the, the quarters are doing. I just wanted yeah. to keep. Mm. So, I just want to keep it. Stay what's on your mind. I don't know the correct. I don't want to walk up to the T and have there be a shrine there and pictures and you know to. I I like the donation part. I like that it's donated by, but I think I think we need to have boundaries and that was my point on the last meeting. Um, and that we do have a direct um, opinion. And our opinion counts, right? So I just like talking about a standard. Yes. yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. I think we went a way above my opinion. My opinion on it. Way above the standard on seventeen, and I, me personally, I would not like to see us do that on multiple holes. Although I'd like the donation, I'd like the bench. I don't even mind the trees as long as Jerry okay's the trees. Uh, you know that they're appropriate and, and good for you guys. Um, I, you know, the rest of it, I just think it's, it, it's not where I personally would like to see on the golf course. Um, you know I didn't make that plaque, right? I'm well, making that public. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah sign from. Yeah. 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 It had nothing to do with that plaque. No, you, you absolutely did. And you shouldn't be, although I would have liked to see all of that before it was put up. I thought that was part of our responsibility. It's certainly in the beginning when we were here, um, people would come to us, we want to donate this, and, we would push this, and yeah. you know, we would give it their approval. And all of a sudden, this went up with nothing. Um, we didn't get to approve it, we didn't get to see a, even a drawing of how it would be. But it, let's face it, it's very different than everything else yeah. on that course. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. listen, the Nancy's So where do you draw the line? I, I, no, you, the they do, I do a line. You know, well, I think they just, I don't want to do it on the whole, so. I, you know, that's my point. Is they could have had, you know, tone? something somewhere else, or for that matter, they don't just take care of the golf course, they take care of other aspects of the town, whether they donate to the schools, the grammar school, all those. Yeah. But Same with Ryan Lee and Cop and, and yeah, didn't I pass this picture around? I don't remember. I honestly I don't do not remember. remember. I never saw. I wish I could. You never saw that picture? No. Never. You didn't see it? it? I saw it on the golf course. On the golf course, we saw that. But I don't remember seeing it. Yeah. 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 It's right next to you. Yeah. If you ride in a cart and it leaves to you, you're not going to see it. You should go up there just so you know what we're talking about. Yeah. I see it from afar. I mean, Makachi has a the. Thing in, in the Senate, but there's no, you know, no pictures, oh, like, right? right? Yeah. Well, there's a statue of Mrs. There's, there's a bronze statue. Yeah. Yeah. No picture. Really? Reading the book to the kids. <laughs> oh, what? That's how that is. I know that one. I just oh, thought yeah. it was a yeah. librarian. I well, don't know. Uh, uh, oh, oh, really? Yeah. I think yeah. what needs to happen is the next meeting, we need to put it on the agenda that we have a discussion on where we're going to go forward with going forward. donations sure and stuff like that. Come up with a standard. Uh, Process and uh, you know, uh, yep. you know, basically like Jim said, it should come to the, to the commission and we approve it or whatever. But there should be a standard out there of moving forward. So I think that's got to go on the agenda for the next meeting. Well, you've you already established one, right? That already set precedent whether you know it or not. Oh, you right? can always change it. I mean, Jerry, I mean, you can not change that one, but I'm saying you can going you forward. Make changes going we forward. put a hold on the trees, right? We all decided that we were going to do trees in. The no, you can. Benji. We can trust me with the trees that have come down. The trees that are going to come down. Well, you have plenty of place. Okay. The I know correct we, tree I know in the correct discussed. location. That's that's, that, that's, that's what you're going to come up with, though, Jerry. Right. And now, if a lot has gone down, and now yeah. we have room for that, you have. Be, before you have, you were 
I mat like style. Trees. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the, the appropriate tree in the appropriate location. Right. Yeah. Let's go. Exactly. So, Jerry, can you I'd put like that on next month's agenda? Yes, sir. I'd like to put that on the second fall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the plantings? That's oh, the plantings up right there. Really, yeah. That really yeah. looked good. And really the beautification, well, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That looked great. All right. Um, you all read the director's report. We don't have to go through line by line, do we? I do have a question, though, Jerry. Sure. Um, the grill the area. Grill. Yeah. When it rains, there's nothing, there's no protection. Are we doing something for him on that? Yeah. Um, and that's all I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you right now. Jerry's tightening his belt with that. And I will get something to go over his grill. Would that look to you? Mean to cook with? Mean to cook with? It goes no, no. The, the double grill. He's, he's, he, Jerry, to his defense, though, I mean, he was out there last yeah, well, week you know, Pete, cook, cooking in the rain. Well, you know with, what, Pete? You know, it was, I was pouring rain and he's, I he's on the, the grill. You know, I, to, I, to, I was in business. I rented the property. I leased the property. If I wanted to make an improvement, I paid for it. I didn't go back to the landlord and say, hey, would you build me a greenhouse? You want a greenhouse? Go build it. You know, I understand where he's coming from, and I will put something back up and over, but that's it. This, you know, I need, I need, I need. Yeah, I need two. And I'm putting my foot down. Enough is enough. Is there anything in the contract? That's a, that's a good how far you go with this? I mean, is there anything that you got to put in the the contract with you guys about what you As far as him? As far as him. Yes, as far as who's responsible for what? Yes, yeah. it's in the contract. But if he comes to me and says, Jerry, I need tables. Yeah, you do. Go buy them. Go buy them. You're absolutely right. Who's responsible for setup yeah. for tables on? He I is. Mean, He's responsible. In, in, for that. in his contract. In his, in his contract, know, he is responsible for the cleanliness, the setup, the breakdown, everything that goes on underneath that Perfect. tent. Perfect. Perfect. That is his spelled out, then, then because, as you know, we are no longer charging for the use of that. That's, that's all correct. rolled into his, rolled his rent. Right? That all goes through his tent, and with that, he's responsible for it. Got it. So. You know, again, if you go out there first thing in the morning and there's beer bottles all over the place, go see Remsen and say, who the hell closed last night because they need to clean that up. Mm -hmm. Got it. Don't, you know, know what I'm saying, you know, yeah, yeah, or but me, but. It's spelled out in his contract. But yeah, but when it comes to it, and, and, I, and I appreciate what you're saying, Pete, and I will because there was something there before. I know I bought it, but I, what I was trying to do, I was kind of trying to hold off because I'm not quite sure what we're doing with that tent. I really, and I was going to try, you know, combine the whole thing and make it all as one, one and make whole, it look whole, correct. One whole area? Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't look hokey. Well, you, where you went to Sam's and you bought that $200 piece of crap. Smoke starts going up, it's going to get on, billow up the top of the tent, too. You no, you can't. That would have to be, he, he actually purchased, so he says, uh, at Costco. One of those pop-up tents? No, 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 no. This, I got pictures of it. It was a wooden structure, number one, but it had a metal roof. And I called, you know, Steve Waz, you know, a risk manager. I'm like, hey, Steve, you know, what do you think? He goes, no, Jerry, there's no wood around that thing. If he does, he's got to he's got to wrap it in aluminum. I said, that makes sense. I get it. So, Jerry goes to Costco and Waterbury. He looks at this thing. It's got to be the size of this room. I kid you not. We got to take it down, town of Berlin, bring it to the golf course and reassemble it. I looked at that and I says, come on, guys, let's go. We're not doing that. I'm not going to spend three days doing this. I'm not. I'm not doing it when even if I wanted to or I, I couldn't because it didn't it didn't conform to code and I went back and I said Ramsey you can't do that you can't have any wood in close proximity to those grills your metal top is great but you've got six by six wood rafters decorative you know gables can't do that you could do it but you're wrapping it in aluminum everything's for code no it's got to okay. be per code. We are mm -hmm. a town entity. We can't yeah. have asked things. Got it. Okay. We got to go through the right. process. It's all just spelled out in the contract. It's, it's, it's all you know. We are. We pick up you know for the appliances and yep. all that yep. jazz. Okay. And it's all spelled okay. out. Good. Okay. I, I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. The ponds. All right. Yeah. Uh, with uh, yeah. all the heat we had. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're probably the only ponds in the state and golf courses that 
you know, it's all green, and you can walk on it. Yeah, I know. It was right. bad. So <laughs> it was what bad. Can do? <laughs> yeah, what can we do? I mean, well, there's a couple things you can do. Can we put do. some carpet there or something like that? Some carpet? What is algae? I mean, that's really... No, they eat algae. Oh, it does really? Oh, yeah. they do. Oh, yeah. Oh, carpet? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Carpet are good. Yeah. I didn't well, know that. Like rich, you know? <laughs> yeah, carpet really? good. Oh, yeah. Big, big ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but how are you going to contain them? You can't contain them because those ponds aren't closed. But anyhow, so like to an answer your question, there's a number of things you is can that an invasive species? You can no. install air fires, okay. you know, air fire. Anytime, anytime you move yes. that water um, no. and you add oxygen into the water, you're going to inhibit the, uh, the formation of algae. We do actually treat it with a aquatic chemical, which is safe for fish, humans, and everything. We do. Uh, this summer was an exception, and um, we, you can hire aquatic companies to come in. I know a lot of golf courses do that, where they hire people to come in and actually treat the water. I know Woody, I think, is doing that in a couple of ponds in town. Yeah. Um, there's some type of invasive plant, I believe, he's trying to contain. Um, and there's, there's in our irrigation pond, right. there's, we really need to, and I will in the next year, and I don't think we're going to go longer than that, have a company come in and clean that out. It really needs to be dredged is what it needs to be, needs to be done. The number 12 pond needs to be dredged. Uh, really, the irrigation pond, maybe not dredged so much, but it needs to be cleaned up. And then um, the number nine pond as well. That number nine pond, the problem there is very little water movement. So my, I was thinking, I said, you know, there's a couple of sprinkler heads adjacent, uh, T heads, larger heads adjacent to, um, adjacent to the pond. And I can take the guts out of the head. I can uh, put in a fitting elbow and get a piece of like two and a half P, uh, PVC and turn on my sprinkler, that head, and I can you know, sh you know, force or jet that water into the pond to help stir it up, because I'm just drawing it out of my pond. It's not like I'm losing it or wasting it, because it's all gonna go downstream anyhow, back to the irrigation pond. Because so that would to, be- We a, used to have, uh, we used to have some sprinklers in there on the in the, 12, in the, in the, on 12, in not on nine. 12. On nine. Nine. Yeah, nine, so that's nine. way before my time, because there was actually, and I think we took it out, there was power, it was dead. But it was on the back side of 19. There was a box. It was a long time ago. It was a that long time ago. They doing a lot of, yeah. You know. The problem with Nine Pond is it's very shallow. So anything with a turbine or anything is just going to suck that crap right up and you're going to cook the motor. Yeah. So that's why I thought by taking the, uh, the sprinkler head and converting that into almost like a, a, I hate, you know, like a jet of some sort or, you know, something that'll move that water, that would be a good. And again, we do treat with, you know, a chemical that is, again, designed for aquatic use. It's not gonna kill you or the fish or anything like that. And so, and the other option, like I said, is you'd have to go to an outside concern and, and bring does, them in. Does that affect the pump, the, the pump station at all? all that no, we, well, we have, a, in, right? we have a screen uh, yeah. that actually reverse the, the reverse flow. When it starts up, there's a basket at the end of this big honking pipe and it pushes all that crap off the suction tube. Yeah. So before it starts drawing, all that stuff gets flushed and then it'll start, and where that, that, that suction tube is installed in that pond, they, they dug it out and they put rock down there. So to answer your question really, no, not so much. It's not great, and that's why we really should make that a priority to clean that up, but I always, always, and then there's regular maintenance you have to do on that screen, our part, which is to flush it every, I flush it every week. And there's also screens inside the pump house that you need to take apart, clean, and flush every week. If you don't, yes you will have problems. You will have problems, yeah. yeah. So it's all part of the regular maintenance you do on the pump house, but yeah, we, we really need to, again, you know, think about dredging, and that's CIP, and then we've gotta look at, you know, how we're spending our CIP. If you look at the report, I gotta back off on tree removal this year because there are just certain things we need to do, folks. Why is dredging part of CIP, not just regular maintenance? You could put it in as a line item. I, I would just under maintenance, I mean, it's part of the, the maintenance of the golf course. You could you right? could put it in as a line item, yeah. you know. I wouldn't just put it right put in with maintenance. Yeah, just yeah. Yeah. whatever. Just throw it in one of the other. So categories. you could you what you could you know you can always say well I'm going to increase my irrigation account. Whatever, yeah. So uh, it, it's you know money goes. around. I mean, you're, you're, because mm -hmm. if that goes down, then we lose the water and you know. Well, then that's what yeah. that that you don't understand. You don't understand how important. Yeah. Yeah. That pump house, yeah, and that that's irrigation. Is, yeah. We gotta take care of that pump oh, house. Oh, don't worry, we do. Yeah. We do. Okay. okay thank we thank do. you. All right, uh, Mark. Uh, all right. So somebody did 
should be a text message about 18. I guess the, the men's go championship this weekend. Or do we have any plan to cut that on 18? Before the Before men's the club? Weekend? They're playing from the back, Mark? Yeah. And I mean, if not, I'm just going to, can we move them up to the white tees? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That'd probably be it's, you know, it's going to be hard to do it tomorrow. You really can't get it over the weeds there for the yeah. back tees. Yeah, okay. So that's we'll push them up, up Saturday, Sunday, Mark? Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Yeah. We'll put them on the island. Something I want to mention before I go to my report. All right. Uh, the golf course is open all 31 days in August. Um, we're up 2% in rounds and almost 10% in revenue. So I think we're going to have um, a good year. I was looking at the numbers. I didn't even realize that we made $1.4 million in 2018, I think it was. That's pretty high. I think we'll be close to that this year. Um, our summer junior programs are done. We're doing some fall programs. We have an after-school program on Tuesdays. Um, we're doing the St. Paul School. We're doing clinics with them on Wednesday starting next week. Uh, it's like a six-week program. And we're doing fall PGA Junior League, which we have 32 participants. Uh, aeration was successful. Um, we did a good job communicating with the customers. We offered a little discount, and it seemed to heal pretty quick from what I saw. So I think the weather worked out just fine. Um, our women in wine clinics um, continue Mondays and Wednesdays, but we're a little bit down in that clinic, and I'm really not sure why. I think I think it's just there's a lot of it out there right now. Um, Lyman hosts a big one. I think Hawks Landing is hosting one now. Shuttle Meadow Country Club hosts one. So a lot of places are doing it, which is great, but I think it's kind of cutting into our participation. But we still get maybe five to ten each Monday and Wednesday, which is still great. Uh, I put a notice out for golf shop credit that will expire at the end of October. This is just because everything's kind of undetermined at this point, and I think that's the right thing to do for the customer while I have inventory. So uh, we'll be expiring that at the end of October. Uh, the RFP went out, and I plan on submitting a bid, and I appreciate everyone's support. I mean, everyone has had nothing but good things to say, so uh, I really appreciate that. And, you know, I'll submit a bid, and we'll see what happens. As everyone saw, it's a little vague. So there's a lot of questions that need to be answered on who has to do what. But I think those will be answered, and we'll just see how it plays out. Um, we successfully hosted the Ryan Lee and the Ray Memorial, Ray LeMay Memorial, which are two of our largest outings. Um, we did 232 players for uh, the Lee, and LeMay had 144, and they, they both went great. Um, didn't run into any card issues or anything like that. And uh, yesterday, we had the CCARC outing, and we had another 144 players. And it, it was smooth start to finish. That tournament, that tournament actually has been at Timberland for 52 years. So really? The first year Timberland opened, really? wow. the CCARC tournament has been there every single year, wow. which is pretty cool. That's the old yeah. one. That was Dr. Rapp. That's a new brand organization. Yeah. 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 CCARC. Yeah. Good point. It's over by um, St. Jerome's Church. We hosted our, our final mixed league event. We averaged 32 players mixed league this year, which which is more than any year has passed. And we, we've, we've gotten 32 players for one, but we actually averaged that. So we have over 40 players. So uh, that continues to be successful. Um, just some challenges we face in the fall is staffing because a lot of kids go back to college that we hired. So we're a little bare bones on our staff, but we're uh, getting by and the days get shorter, so that makes things a little easier. Most of our leagues have completed play, uh, which is good. They didn't have too many rainouts, so a lot of the leagues are done. So now that opens up some time in the afternoon in case anybody wants to play, because um, I know that's an issue during the summer. Uh, it's a good issue to have. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not, a, not a bad problem, but, uh, but again, it, it is an issue. Like, when we sell season passes, we may want to put on there something about the afternoon leagues because there's a lot of people out there that will buy a pass under the impression that, oh, I'll just go play a quick nine after work, and then they show up at 5.30, and it's, like, leagues it's a five, quick five, three five holes. Days a week? Uh, we do. Monday to Thursday, we're basically booked on both sides. Friday is a little more open. You know, there's only one league, but then we do mixed leagues sometimes. So is that a revenue opportunity? Uh, I think we you got guaranteed. You got guaranteed people coming through the door. Guaranteed money's good yeah, money, right, man. The, the no, I know. Cash in hand. 
Rain or shine. But, yeah, I mean, you I mean they charge you a dollar more for being on leave. Maybe it needs to be two dollars more. You don't want to price yourself out of the, the right. market. Yeah. We've gone up on that, yeah. just like we have with any other rate. And yeah. I mean, there hasn't been any pushback. No, that's years. what I mean. I think yeah. it's very popular. So, it's no, it's definitely a good thing for revenue. But I'm not going to turn this camera on anymore. To play quick nine. It's, it's not happening. Um, the last couple of years, we've had that COVID golf boom. And, uh, really hasn't slowed down like I think a lot of people thought it may someday but I mean right now it's it's been pretty good um, and I want to commend all the employees because basically you know golf was kind of declining in participation and then COVID made it boom and we've had to do more with less basically mm -hmm. we've, you know minimum wage is going up and we just can't afford some things but we have to keep the same level of service so I think that the staff has done a real nice job up there with that Absolutely. Um, yep we continue to get a good positive review by Golf Advisor and um, Google. Mm -hmm. You know, so I encourage everybody to go check those out every once in a while. And we um, definitely get a little, you know, we get a lot of five-star reviews, even if there's no commentary. So uh, people are generally happy with their experience. Um, just looking ahead, um, <coughs> September is really busy with outings. I mean, I can't believe it's already halfway done. Oh, do a lot of like 24 player outings, 32 player end of week, year week outings, you know, so it's pretty busy place uh, in, in the fall. And the course is in nice shape in the fall. Um, so just coordinating that with Renzi and just being on the same page as Gordon, so he's, he's been good with that. Um, he seems to never know what he's doing for food, but he knows there's something going on <laughs> and it always go, seems to go well. So that's his thing and he's good at it. Um, and then just we're going to continue the, the updating of like the website and social media. I've been working with Deirdre. Um, she does a nice job with social media and mm -hmm. marketing. So, uh, the last part is just there's all kinds of things that are kind of in a holding pattern. I mean, I do, I never decline bookings, let's put it that way, or things for next year. But uh, there are some things that obviously I, I don't want to go too deep and think people are going to be working with me when I don't know yet. Um, I'm hoping to. Again, you know, there are certain things that I don't want to schedule too much if I'm not going to be there, you know, because somebody else may have a different idea. Mm -hmm. So trying to balance that. And I mean, honestly, the RFP, more than anything, I know it has to go out, but <coughs> it's just been a distraction for me mm -hmm. more than anything else. Um, it's taken me away from what I really need to do. So that hasn't been great. <laughs> but other than that, I, I understand the process. It has to go on for everybody. And I mean, Renzi had to go out. Do you have one? Adjourn? Yeah, if you don't have any questions. No, 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 no questions. All right, Mark, thank you. No, no, thank, thank you, Mark. Mark. Yeah. I'll second Jim's motion. Anybody opposed to adjourning? Oh, you are? <laughs> <laughs> you want to stay, Jim? Not today. You want to stay for a while? No. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Did you write down when Joe came in at the time? Yeah. Um, that was good. Uh, Next. 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 U